dearest gentle watcher dive into the world of bridgerton with me your host shine a light <laughs> okay okay i'm done with the impressions but i am keeping the crown though in the Regent's era, we follow the romantic story of Daphne Bridgerton, the season's diamond, picked by Queen Charlotte herself, and the mysterious yet dashing Duke of Hastings, Simon Bassett. The first season follows the fake relationship trope in which the two court each other to gain benefits, in which Daphne wants more suitors and Simon wants less ladies on his back curse of a handsome face huh unexpectedly but expectantly this revolves into a bloom of their romantic and passionate love for each other which is both unwanted on on both their sides daphne doesn't want this love because she's already courted to the prince that the queen of england picked herself and simon doesn't want this love because he knows that daphne wants children however he cannot grant that for her because he vowed to his father on his deathbed that he would cut the bloodline with him he also didn't want to betray anthony anthony bridgerton's trust due to them being best friends and dating your best friend's younger sister is against bro code did he break up bro code yes he did Anthony found the two snogging each other in the gardens together, in which he now then said, You must marry my sister, or we will battle to the death. Dramatic much? Simon is too, considering that he did take the dual offer and would rather die than to be with Daphne happily with children together. In the end, they did get together, but let's not forget Lady Whistledown and her scandalous talks that had the Tawn and Queen Charlotte herself in a frenzy looking for whoever she was. She even controlled Queen Charlotte at one point and had her looking and searching for ways for Daphne to be the perfect diamond of her season she even had Eloise searching for her, her identity but however it turned out at the end of season one Penelope Featherington was Lady Wilson this entire time she was a laughing sack of this ton and even Eloise's best friend who could have known Season 2 of Bridgerton focuses on Anthony Bridgerton's love and on his quest to find an ideal wife and a marriage void of any love. Like I said, dramatic much. It then tangles him into a love triangle with the season's diamond Edwina Sharma and her sister Kate Sharma who is also skeptical of love. I'm so glad that I have a younger brother because I would never fight for a man over a woman, especially if she's my sister. This season follows a enemies to lovers trope in which the two, Kate and Anthony, always butt heads together. They're always fighting, they're always arguing, but in the end, they do get together. And I can't lie, their love is so beautiful. It truly worked together. I don't know how they did it, but the writers did an amazing job. In this season, Eloise also gets herself in a bit of trouble with a certain commoner boy that she continuously goes goes down to sea. It gets her in so much trouble that Queen Charlotte herself believes that she's Lady Whistledown. Not a good idea to sneak off during your own brother's wedding now is it Eloise? Because of Queen Charlotte threatening Eloise and her family, the rest of the Bridgertons, Penelope has to make the grave decision of outing Eloise to protect her. But this tarnishes Eloise's um, relationship with everyone in the town, and it also tarnishes their friendship. In season three, part one, it seems that Queen Charlotte is trying to get her diamond right this season by learning from her success with Daphne Bridgerton and her failure with Edwina Sharma. So in this season, she appoints another Bridgerton as her diamond, Francesca Bridgerton. However, 
However, it seems that Penelope is taken to the stage as the new supposed diamond when she glows up and shows down at one of the high events that is hosted by the queen herself. This means that the favor turned from the Bridgetons to the most hated Featheringtons in just one night. The two rival families. When Colin comes back from his travels, he agrees to help Penelope find a husband and Penelope sets aside her anger towards Colin due to the comments he made in the previous season about never wanting to court her. You're better than me, girl. I would never let a man talk to me like that, but hey, that's you. But of course, the jealousy part and the friends to lovers trope has to arise when Colin now realizes his feelings with, for Penelope when she gets a bit too comfy with Lord Debling. I know Paul and Shippers were rejoicing when the two got together, because I definitely was. But let's not forget about the elephant in the room, Lady Whistledown. Ever since she posted that thing on Eloise, Colin, Colin is angry for his little sister. And he no longer likes Lady Whistledown, who just so happens to be his new fiance, Penelope Featherington. In this new season, we also see Eloise branch away from Penelope and become friendlier with her rival and Penelope's bully, Cressida Casapa. What type of morals she has? Now, from season one to season two to season three, finally going to part two, we see the trailer of Lady Whistledown's identity possibly being revealed by Eloise herself. In the trailer, we see that Penelope and Colin are excited to tell the Bridgerton family, including Eloise, that they are finally engaged. However, Eloise is upset with Penelope as to why as to why it's because she was revealed her secret to everyone in the town and was disrespected by Penelope herself. Penelope, despite all the trials and tribulations of getting with Colin, she still doesn't want to let him know about this secret of hers. And since Colin now suspects that she's keeping secrets from him, he's now getting insecure in their relationship. This may be because with his previous engagement to Maria Thompson, in which she hid, his pre hid her pregnancy from him to try and trap him into fatherhood, that he's now careful with the people that he trusts, especially the people that he loves. If he finds out that Penelope is La Lady Whistledown, the same woman who wrote about his own younger sister in her paper, will he lose all faith in love? Will he turn out like his brother before he met his own wife, Anthony? As for Penelope, what will happen to her? Queen Charlotte has been looking for her all this time, looking for who Lady Whistledown is. If she finds out that it's Penelope, not only will she lose her standing in the town, but she might just be kicked out entirely for treason. What will happen to Penelope? What will happen to her standing in the town? Will she be kicked out for treason? Or worse, even beheaded? What will happen to Eloise? Will Eloise's character finally delve and she will no, no longer um, reveal Lady Whistledown to the world? What will happen to Queen Charlotte? Will she give up on her search? Will, will she forgive Penelope since she is now kind of the star of the season? What will happen to Colin? Will he, fi will he forgive Penelope for, for being Lady Whistledown? For being a disgusting gossip? Leave your opinion down in the comment section below and don't forget to follow up on Per Second News on our website and all our social media platforms. This is Shina Lagba. Signing off.